Hey guys, Lana here, up at Lost Creek. Have a new member of the pack, Dave, up here fishing. We're, uh, I got skunked last time I was here, so you guys didn't get a video from that, but uh, we got bows, tigers, cutties, browns, splake, and chubs. Don't know what we're gonna get. Let's go for the multi-species event. Go ahead and hit like and subscribe. Tight lines, guys. All right. Yeah. All right, guys, I got one. Oh. Pretty nice hit, too. Oh, he's got some fight in him. Ooh, look at that run. Not bad, bud. Nice little trout. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, it's not bad. He's a little chunky. Yeah, he is. All right, guys. First one of the day. It's always good. Gonna keep him when he's gonna go on the smoker. Uh, I think he's. No, this one was orange. Hey guys, I got another one. I was uh, trying to reline the last one because the as I was taking the hook out, it, my line broke, which thankfully I it did while I was on shore. This one feels somewhat cutthroatish yeah, a little rainbow Another bow. So guys, here's number two. Decent sized keeper again. He's gonna go on the stringer for another smoke. All right, for those who are new to my channel, I've explained my setup before, but I'm gonna explain this one again. So I actually go with a full water bobber. I do a red plastic bead because I use a bullet sinker or an egg sinker. Then I go swivel. This one's about a foot of line. And the reason I do this, I used to do split shot, but uh, learning and watching and talking to some old timers, the split shot, the fish would feel that weight and that resistance. Having this setup allows the line to run and they don't feel the full resistance. So that is my setup. I also have a new addition to the uh, to the rod collection. I'm actually have the uh, Fluger Monarch Ultralight. It's a five foot six rod. I like to. I needed a new ultralight. I you guys remember last year I broke my. Uh, ugly stick ultralight so this is the replacement Fluger reel I went braided this one I'm gonna actually set up to go crawler here just to test it out I think but uh, it's the new ultralight setup guys I missed him guys no I got him yeah Rainbow garlic.
He's pretty. There you go, guys. All right, guys. Dave's got one. We're coming on over to see what he got. Fortunately, I don't have a net to be able to help him out. But, let's see. Huh? huh? Yeah, it is. Same size as mine. Yeah. Nice little bow there. A little bigger than I thought. Yeah. Skinny. Yeah. But I don't see any clippings. But when it goes full slack like that. Got him. Yeah. There we go. Another one. I don't know. Looks like I did. Woo. That was a two for guys. This one's nice. Yeah. I don't know if that one, if I got him on that one. Long skinny one. Yeah, you got him. Okay. Here, you want me to take that and get this? Yeah. Oh, you good. <laughs> That's awesome, man. I don't think I've ever landed done that. It's <sighs> awesome. Which one are you what bait are you using? Uh this one was rainbow garlic and that was red, white, and blue. Uh, he's worn out. He was fighting the entire way in. He's tired. Got another one, guys. This makes six on the day. What's that? Yep. No. There we go. Another. Alright guys, this makes number eight for the day. Trying to muscle him back so he doesn't cross the other line. So, believe it or not guys, <laughs> the magic I tried to get you underneath there. The magic power bait today is red, white, and blue, which I never use, but
Missed him. What? I missed him.